Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly news update. I forgot the memory card for our main camera at home, absolute schoolboy error, and then I couldn't find the tripod for my mobile phone. So I've propped it up and uh, I am making do. Um, but the uh, news update I wanted to do this week was about room rents, um, HMO room rents, and then in general, like the buy to let market uh, room rents, you'll think they're quite interesting. Um, but before I come to that, actually, uh, I'll give you a little update on our available rooms. Um, across the 80 HMO rooms that we have, we have three rooms available. Um, one is void currently, two are sort of, you know, under the one month notice period. So that's pretty good. So in terms of occupancy rates, that's, that's pretty high. We've got one guy that wants to end this contract early, so you could bump that up to four rooms, um, but he's still liable for sort of the, the next four months. Um, so that's a pretty good average. We are on the 10th of November taking over a another five bed HMO. Um, and I've been made aware today that there are four rooms available there. Um, so over sort of, yeah, over our, the eight units that we have today, we have three available. And then from the 10th of November at current, we'll have 85 units and then we'll have seven rooms available. So um, it's been pretty good. We're, I'm really happy with those sort of figures. Um, occupancy rate is, is pretty decent, um, but not trying to blag anyone or anything like that. We have had quite a few people uh, move in over the last sort of month or so on sort of three month contracts. So at any moment, um, you know, or pretty near in the future, they probably will be leaving. So we'll have a bit more turnover. Um, but it's all about cash flow, isn't it? And keeping the cash flow going for our clients and also accommodating people that do just need a sort of a shorter term contract. It's all right to have a, a few of them uh, in, in your portfolio. Um, but here is uh, here's, uh, some average room rents data that I found really interesting. The latest um, spare room report that we've received was um, about rent in Q2 2019. And the average room rent in a HMO room was £526 a month. So what we did yesterday, or what I did yesterday going back, is I wanted to see what the average VCC homes rent, uh, room rent was in that same period. And our average was £673.41 uh, across 44 rooms at the time. So that's £147.41p more or 28.02% higher than the average. And then I thought, well, so what are we now? Um, so I've calculated right now. So I know it's not, it's not like for like, because back then things were great and now we're in a global pandemic with Gatwick basically being shut. So it's not really like for like, but how are we holding up in these sort of times? So as of November 1st, so with the people moving in and what they're about to be paying in their rent and already have started paying, um, our average room rent stands at £643.81 pence across 80 rooms. So that's £117.81 pence higher than the average back in Q2 2019, which is a 22.4%. Uh, you know, it is 22.4% higher than the average back then. Potentially, I'd argue, room rents have gone further down at the average room rent in quality, so our percentage could be better than that, and probably should be better than that. So, really happy with that. I think um, that, that's that's really good. Uh, very, yeah, very, very happy with that. So, you know, uh, I can't guarantee that if you uh, let your property with us that we'll, we'll be able to do the same for you, but we know the standard that people are willing to pay for and the, and the quality that demands that high rent. So if you are interested in renting with us, come and have a chat because we get more rent than the average. So yeah, right. I wanna chat to you now about um, the whole of the market. because I think there's some quite interesting data here. So coming down here, Crawley average rents by property type. We've got detached, semi-detached, terraced and flats. The dark blue is Crawley. Um, so you can see detached houses, uh, they reach £1,195.63 on average, which is uh, less than what other areas in the southeast are receiving, which, you know, you've got Surrey, you know, Hawley, etc. Uh, so I'm not really surprised there. Um, and you know what, that trend, it, it, it lessens with semi-detached and terraces, um, but it's still slightly less than uh, the southeast. 
However, what's interesting, flats, flats are higher. And I'm pretty sure we've done a little thing on this before in our first ever weekly news update, but flats are still taking control. And also, if you look at here, a change in the average rent. So this is obviously from October, like 2019 till September, 2020, um, increase. There's been an increase. Detached and semi-detached, look at semi-detached, gone right up 8.89% higher than the, the Southeast. So, demand has 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 gone up rents have gone up uh, same with terrace flats have just nearly 10 percent 9.33 just yeah absolutely smashing and and that's really what i wanted to get across uh today again i'm pretty sure i've said this before um flats flats and studio flats but you can see here crawley what with uh you know covid and whatnot down 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 percentage down down you know minus three not major major but down 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 all through covid lockdown and as we come out of lockdown you can see bosh gone up as well the southeast gone down interesting you know people leaving the area of course it's going to go down um but companies coming back bringing their workforce back other companies doing really well in a recession expanding yeah this curve is now going up so Pretty interesting. Um, but this is a great little table as well. Average rents by bedroom and type. So look, you see studio flats, um, very, very, very close. In fact, Crawley is slightly higher than the average of uh, the Southeast, but one bed flats, two bed flats, absolutely smashing it. Even three bed, well, you know, everything apart from three bed houses. <laughs> so um, yeah, basically there are, there are high demands for professional couples and probably uh, young families with only one child, right? You've got one and two bed flats, really, really doing well um, in Crawley. Uh, so yeah, interesting. And then the average room change percentage, again, up, it's going up in Crawley, over that period that is. So so yeah, uh, profile properties there, you can see in Crawley over the last 12 months, the biggest amount of property that is let are flats, 50.9% of flats. Uh, and then the second biggest terraced houses, because obviously Crawley has a lot of terraced houses. Um, it's sort of the same, same figures over the southeast. To be fair, uh, the least amount of detached houses, five, only five percent. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I've said this before as well. Uh, Crawley, the average or highest um, age bracket for renters are the eighteen to twenty-nine year olds, and then the second highest is obviously the thirty to thirty-nine year olds. So. Um, I think that's what I do well here, being 31 years old. I really understand 18 to 29 year olds, but I can also understand 30 to 39 year olds, which is our biggest demographic. So I know what they're looking for. I know what they want in a property. I can speak their language uh, and I can relate and I can get on with them and I understand their issues. So I can resolve issues quicker, I guess, because I'm more in touch, so to speak. So, um, yes, that's our weekly news update. I don't really have much of an update other than that for you, uh, business for VC Homes is going really well. We're really now starting to knuckle down on procedures, working with Mel. I'll have to introduce Mel uh, properly. We've changed the office around actually. So uh, let me grab the camera. So you can see here, we have got Mel here. So we've removed the couch and I was getting really fed up with people getting in and out of our uh, fridge freezer because it was under there. Um, so yeah, we've got the router on there. Mel's set up here. So me and Mel can communicate pretty well. Um, I've got names and stuff on the board, so I won't show you that. But um, on that board is our, our sort of a diary. So we can see at any moment, even though it's on our calendars and stuff like that, who's moving in. Uh, I've got like a full day tomorrow of check-ins and check-outs, um, you know, what viewings we've got, etc., etc. Um, So that's pretty cool. Uh, I need to update this board over here, goals and stuff like that. But this is where we keep an eye on uh you know our 100 room we want to get 100 unit targets 85 you know in the pipeline now we've got six buy to let units um we've got seven hmo units come in so that leaves 98 we need two more are you a landlord that has two properties bring them bring them to me um yeah that's our target before the end of the year so this is my little workstation and then we've got alicia's workstation and Alicia's mum, uh, so they can work together there. So it's really opened up the office. Um, so yeah, that's our weekly news update. Hope you've had a good week. Uh, I've got a busy day tomorrow. Um, but yeah, ready to take on 
the next week. So I hope you're all well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.